Hello, my name is Derek Johnson. I'm a Solution Manager for SAP. I work with our Business Planning Consolidation Solution. So in this session, we're going to be looking at some of the recent enhancements we've made to our web client to make it even more easy to use from an end user's perspective. So first and foremost, one of the first enhancements I'd like to point out is that we are now able to use Firefox as our browser, and we'll be doing uh, this exercise using Firefox We'd like to cover some of the enhancements made, and many of these enhancements really follow our menu paths. We have made enhancements to our ability to do refreshes, uh, suppress values, to add as well as manage comments, and then supporting drill through, printing, and downloading to CSVs. And we'll be discussing all of these as part of this session. We've always had the ability from a web perspective when we create a report or an input schedule to be able to refresh our data. But one of the things that we've added is we've added a warning here so that if you're bringing back a very large report or input schedule, you could be warned as an end user. So it gives you an opportunity to refine your context selections up top to bring back a smaller amount of data if so desired. So it's really uh, is good from a usability perspective uh, for that enhancement. Uh, one of the next additions that we've made is we've added the ability to suppress zero and empty records and we'll take a look at this as well. So from our report here we can see we have several months with zero values. So if we were using this as an input schedule we might want to see those zero values so that we could enter in uh, information for those three months. But if we're doing from a reporting perspective we may want to suppress these and not view them. So in this case it's very easy to uh, suppress these results from a web query as well, and you can see that here. While we've had the ability to uh, create comments in the past, is we've also kind of extended this, this capability as well so that we can display comments over here as well. And you can see that these comments are tied to this report. In this case, we have a comments on sales uh, lower than expected, uh, for a June time period for black and salmon rub. So in addition, we can uh, start to manage comments as well. So this is where we can see different comments for the entire report and start doing some uh, more in-depth analysis of our comments that may have been made from other users as well. And we can do that all from one central place. In addition, we can flag whether we'd like to see the comments. And here I've, I've deselected that so you can see that my, my comment no longer shows up as a little blue indicator here on the cell. And we can uh, display the column content as well. If we wanted to add new comments in here as well, that's very easy to do. And we could add uh, comments in here we can say and here we made a comment in a report and then we say this. So this has been around for quite a while but certainly uh, you can continue to uh, enter comments in there as well and you'll see that once you enter those comments that they'll show up here as well. And we could then more readily uh, edit our comments if it needed further editing as well. So from a drill through perspective is we've we've had this ability within our Microsoft Excel product to be able to drill back to various sources whether it's a ECC system, uh, it could be you know websites both internal and external where we want to start passing parameters to that or it could be as easy as our uh, business warehouse system where we're going to look at more information that's contained within our, our uh, NetWeaver BW uh, business warehouse system. So in this case, we're just going to drill to an external system. Uh, this is using the same functionality that we use when we set this up for our Microsoft Excel reporting as well. We've just now really enabled it for the web client. Here you can see we've opened up a search page and then we've passed the parameter for our black and salmon rub that we were looking at uh, within, within the, uh, the URL. Some additional changes that we've made is being able to access this information offline as well. And that can be as simple as printing the report. 
but you can see that you'd have uh, your reports as well as your commas displayed and then you could uh, print that out to your local printer. In addition, we can export this to a CSV file. And exporting it to a CSV file may be useful if you need to uh, access this information in other systems or if you just want to have a local copy as well. So these are some of the enhancements we've made to our web client. So we're very excited that you know, as, as each support pack comes out, uh, we're looking at ways to make our web client easier to use as well as add additional capabilities for our users as well. So once again, uh, thank you for watching this session and hopefully uh, you can take advantage of these enhancements as well.